Hey guys, Cousin here, and welcome back to another long-awaited episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I say long-awaited just because I haven't put out a video in a long time, and I do want to apologize for that. I'll talk a little bit about that uh, more in just a minute once we get on the road. Uh, let's go ahead and get a quick job from the job market here. Uh, since the last time I recorded, I have uh, done a little bit of resetting on my computer, which included Euro Truck, so they reset us to uh, Rotterdam. I think that's where I started. Is either Rotterdam or Amsterdam? I think it's Rotterdam. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and start from there, I guess. Uh, I don't want to go over to England yet. I, I promise that we will be doing that eventually. Uh, looks like. Oh wait, that one. Was Brussels. It's kind of short though. Is there any other place? That's Sheffield. That's England. Is there any other place that's on mainland? Ooh, we could go to. Uh, I think that's Calais. I don't think that's supposed to be pronounced <laughs> uh, Callus, <laughs> which is how I want to say that when I look at it. Uh, let's go to that place in France. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I didn't even look. Uh, let's see, ventilation shaft, that's what we're carrying. Oh my, world of trucks, okay, that's new. Um, oh, yeah, so when I logged in, it asked me if I wanted to enable some kind of images or something. I guess that's what that was. Uh, anyways, we are back here. Uh, we are in... What is this, a Volvo? Yes. Uh, by the way, I should mention that I have reset my sounds a little bit, so hopefully they sound alright. Uh, if they are mixed a little bit weirdly, I will uh, change them in the next episode. Uh, let's see, ventilation shaft, that's what we're carrying, if I remember right. Because I just read it off like three seconds ago, so if I don't remember, then that's a major problem. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get on the road. I might be a little bit rusty as well because I haven't played it in so long. Um, let's get out here. Uh, we're clear. Alrighty. Alright, back on the road. Feels good to be back in this game. I wish I could scoot myself back a little bit. I am in the wrong lane. <laughs> oh my gosh. As I said, a little bit rusty here. How stupid does this look? Yep, I look... I look stupid. Yep, something is definitely wrong with the driver of this machine. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we are back on the road here, and I guess I can start off by talking a little bit about where the series has been, and I guess where all the videos on my channel have been, actually, because I haven't uploaded a video uh, very much besides Rust Bucket in the past few weeks. In fact, the first episode of anything that I uploaded in the past few weeks was Rust Bucket, and that was uh, last uh, Wednesday, or no, last Thursday. Uh, so yes, what has been going on? Well, basically, as I described in the Rust Bucket episode, I just haven't had much of a drive to do anything recently, and that just kind of included YouTube. I know some YouTubers talk about having, like, the YouTube blues or whatever. I'll go ahead and pull out here. That might have been a mistake. I probably should, probably should have gone there. And now I'm blocking a highway. Okay. Um, this, this is, this is quite bad. Is this guy gonna let me go? Uh, he's gonna let me go now. All right. <laughs> okay, that was that was messy. Uh, anyways, yes, uh, I know some YouTubers talk about having like the YouTube blues or whatever, and I don't know if you could really call it that necessarily. It's I don't know. It just kind of extended to everything when I really look at it because I just I've had drive to do stuff like I want to do things productive, but I just don't know what to put that productivity into, I guess. I don't know, it's complicated. I just haven't had much of a drive to do anything recently. Um, but yeah, hopefully that uh, will turn around shortly. I do want to continue doing YouTube, of course. Like, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, so I do want to make sure that I'm always doing this and entertaining you guys. Uh, so let's see, what else has been going on? Uh, in the uh, episode, I think it was 36 of Rust Bucket, I introduced the 1080p videos on my channel. Most of you will probably know that I used to only do 720p. And the reason for that is because 
I decided to go ahead and get Adobe Premiere. Uh, the only thing that was holding me back before from posting 1080p videos was the fact that my editing software wouldn't let me export higher than 720, so that was a little bit of a problem. Other than that, I was able to record 1080, I was able to do everything else in 1080p, but just the editing software wouldn't let me export in 720. So, um, a little bit of background here. When I started my channel, I started out by using uh, Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker. And I get a lot of flack for that when I talk to other people who do video editing. It's like, oh my gosh, you used Movie Maker? Like, such a noob, right? And yeah, it's not the best software to use, and I would probably recommend upgrading uh, shortly after you start editing videos. But it worked for me. And I think it was good that I started using Movie Maker because it allowed me to get more creative with how I edited videos, and I think that's some of the reason that I'm able to... Uh, I need my lights on. Alright, that'll work. Uh, but yeah, I think the reason I'm able to be creative with editing now, uh, when I need to, is because when I started out, I started out by using Windows Movie Maker. So, I've always kind of had this philosophy that was like you should always start off with the most basic software and work your way up and you shouldn't ever upgrade until you need to like the point that I upgraded from Movie Maker because I'd used it for like the first six months on YouTube the, the point that I decided that I should go ahead and upgrade was the point when I wanted to do things that the software just physically you couldn't do it with the software like even if you did it creatively there was no physical way that the software would let you do it and I, I think that that was good. I think it allowed me to be more creative and I only upgraded when I absolutely had to. Well, Lightworks, which is what I used after Movie Maker, it, I, I didn't even kind of scratch the surface with Lightworks. Like I could have probably done a lot more than I ended up doing, but I did end up upgrading upgrading to uh, Adobe Premiere and that kind of breaks that philosophy and the reason I'm going into such detail here is just to kind of explain my thinking behind all of this because I know I probably sound a little bit hypocritical uh, but I still I do still have that philosophy that I don't think you should upgrade your software until you absolutely need to even though I kind of did break that but the reason that I did break that was because I wanted to just mess around with Premiere like, I didn't need it, like, Lightworks would have got me by on YouTube, but I did want to mess around with some more professional software to just have some fun and tinker around and everything. So that's the reason I ended up upgrading to Adobe Premiere. And I think that's really the main reason why people should upgrade if it's not for the technical reason. Like, if you want to do things that you're just physically not able to do, then that's a good reason to upgrade. But I don't think that you need to just start off like video editing or audio mixing or whatever with like $500 software I think they can make the editor themselves maybe kind of lazy in a way and not in every case of course but I just think it's probably good for people to start off with lower end software and work their way up so that way they build the skills on their own anyways that's my whole spiel on that uh, basically I did all of, I said all of that to let you guys know that I'm now doing uh, 1080p videos, they should look quite a bit better than before, uh, but you guys might not necessarily have noticed if I didn't tell you. Uh, hopefully, they do still look pretty good though. Uh, when I went to go download uh, the new OBS, because uh, a little bit of background on that, every four to six months I do a factory reset on my computer. So I go into the settings and just say, you know, uninstall everything and reinstall the operating system on Windows. And so it got around the time that I was going to do that again. And I was like, all right, let me do this. So I did it. I wiped everything from my computer, backed up files that I needed, all of that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I went to go reinstall OBS, and I saw that they had a new version out called OBS Studio. And I was a little bit reluctant to upgrade to that because I remember when I originally looked for uh, recording software, it was such a pain and it was so fidgety. So I was a little bit reluctant to upgrade to it, but I did download it and I messed around with it. Is there a train coming? I don't see a train. Oh, it must have just passed, I guess. Oh yeah, you can see it down there. Okay. 
I was like, it says that there's a train, but I don't see a train. So I was like, is it stuck or what's going on? Uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the factory reset. So I backed up all my files and I went to go install OBS Studio and I remember it was very fidgety when I first installed it with different recording software. So I was a little bit reluctant to upgrade, but I did and oh my gosh, the improvement is so crazy. Like, I am now able to record games that I wasn't able to before because I don't know how they did it, but the optimization is quite a bit better uh, in certain aspects of it. Uh, obviously, it's not like... Uh, perfected yet but it, it's pretty good so if, if any youtubers out there are watching this and haven't heard about OBS studio yet I would strongly recommend you upgrade it and at least try it out um, but yeah so that might allow me to do some more series on my channel and I'm not, I'm not sure if those are actually gonna happen or not but I have I have messed around with recording some higher-end games that have like some crazy graphics and stuff and I don't know if I'm actually going to end up recording those, but I have messed around with them, and I know that I can. So that should be interesting. Alright, let's see. What else has been going on recently since the last time uh, we, we did a Euro Truck? Uh, I think I went over everything. Oh my gosh, I bumped the mic. <laughs> or I bumped the, the mouse. <laughs> right now I'm just kind of controlling the, the truck with my left hand, and so I... I kind of just went to rest my face in my hand and my elbow bumped the my, uh, mouse there. Uh, speaking of a mouse, I need to get a new mouse, I think. Like, I recently I've been working on game creation and I've been trying to make my own game, which that's kind of a nightmare, but I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, doing that, I've been doing a lot of clicking and recently my mouse started double clicking, which is the, which is super weird. Like, I'll click once on a file and it will double click it so I'll start like renaming it it's it's the weirdest thing ever I've double placed blocks in Minecraft I it's so weird and it's so annoying too it messes me up all the time like if I'm working in blender which I've been doing a lot with uh, doing the whole game thing I've been making different models when I'm moving something around it's constantly like double clicking while I have it hold down and it messes me up so bad like there have been times when I've like not been able to move an object for a few seconds just because it's constantly double clicking so it's messing up it's like grabbing ability and uh, anyways I need to get a new mouse and keyboard I really like the ones that I have right now uh, in case you're wondering they're just like cheap little Dell mice and keyboard like I didn't even know I was gonna get that like the the computer I have came in a uh, like a bundle with the monitor so we opened that up and then inside there was a box with the mouse and keyboard as well so it's kind of just like a bonus I didn't think I was gonna get it but honestly these have ended up being the best mouse and keyboard like I've ever used I love them so much and they're so cheap so I'm gonna see if I can look into getting like this same setup again but just a new version of it I also need some new headphones too Everything is like falling apart <laughs> with my computer, I swear. Like, uh, my headphone, the cord is doing something weird, and then my mouse is double sticking, and my keyboard, it's just kind of time for, an up for a, a, a new keyboard as well. Uh, but yeah, I've been, I, I guess I can talk a little bit about the game that I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> so, I used to play this game. Uh, this was, man, this was back like. See, it's 2016 now. This must have been back in like 2012 or 2011, so that's like four or five years ago. Uh, but yeah, about four or five years ago, there's this game. It was a Facebook game. They had it on multiple platforms too, but it, it was mainly a Facebook game. And it was called City of Wonders. It was made by Playdom. And I love that game so much. Oddly enough, the way I found out about that game was through my grandmother because she played it on Facebook all the time. And so I ended up playing on her account a little bit and I, ended, I created my own account and started playing it. And I love that game so much. But over time, I just kind of stopped playing it. And a few years later, I picked it back up again. But I realized that they had ended up shutting down the game. And since it was online, there's no way that you could just like go and download it or anything. It was just gone because it was online so they just shut down the servers and so that really really stunk and 
I've always had the idea to maybe kind of bring back a game similar to that. Maybe make a game that's like, you know, it's similar, it's different. Uh, I want it to be mainly client-based, I think. Um, I'm not really for sure right now, but I've been working on that and just kind of getting my hands dirty a little bit. Is that the, that's the expression, right? Probably recording this, this series at like 1 a.m. is not the best. When I try to do expressions like that. Anyways, yeah, I've just kind of been fiddling around with programming and kind of trying to create this game. And it's going a lot better than other programming projects I've done in the past, so that's nice. Um, but it, this this crap is so difficult. <laughs> and, like, I haven't taken a class or anything on programming. I'm just going off of, like, online tutorials and stuff. So... It's very, very difficult. In fact, that's what I was working on right before I, I started recording here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going very, very... Uh, it's, it's very interesting. It, it's very fidgety, too. Like, the, you do one thing wrong. And of course, that's how programming works. I mean, that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. But it's very interesting doing it on your own and kind of working through it all. And I don't know. I, it's fun, challenging, and... Sometimes extremely annoying. It makes you want to pull your hair out. Alright. Uh, I want to look at the map real quick. See where we are in the route. Okay. We're almost there. I'm just curious. I like to check the map every now and then when I'm driving. Just to see uh, how far away we are. So that way I know how many... Like how... How much time I need to fill, I guess. I don't know. How, how many stories I can tell, I guess. Is really what I'm going after there. Uh, but yeah, so what else has happened since the last time we played Euro Truck. Uh, I think I went over all my life stuff. <laughs> I, I've been... <laughs> I guess I can go into that a little bit more. I've been avoiding people a lot lately. And I don't know if you guys do this. You can leave it in the comments. Let me know if you do. But is there ever just a point... And it, it seems to go up and down. But right now, there's so much drama around the people that I hang out with in real life that I've just kind of been distancing myself from from that group and that group is like all the people that I hang out with so like I pretty much oh crap I'm stuck aren't I okay we... oh and I almost hit that guy okay go forwards now please thank you if we could not get stuck on that ah oh, my gosh I hate it when this happens okay oh that's right this is a Volvo okay Straight now, straight now. Good, good, good. Okay, now we're good. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, do you guys ever like go through a period where there's like so much drama in the peop like the friend group that you hang out with? You just start like distancing yourself from them a little bit and just kind of like I'll hang back. Like while you crazy people deal with all your problems, I'll just step back, let you do your thing, and then I'll like float back in whenever whenever all this stuff settles down. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at like in real life right now like there's so much drama going on with people that doesn't matter at all like none of this crap has any relevance to anything really i mean none of it matters at all like sometimes there, there's drama and it's like that matters but then other times it's like that drama does not matter at all and that's the kind of drama that's going on right now so Anyways, you got a lot of that kind of stuff going on. I've just kind of been distancing myself from that whole situation. And I want to know, is there like any kind of thing that happens with you guys uh, when there's a lot of drama going on and you just kind of distance yourself from everyone? I want to know if, uh, if you guys do that sometimes because I know I definitely have to do that sometimes. Uh, but it does kind of make you crazy in a different way. Like one way, if you continue to be around that, it'll make you crazy just because you're around so much Dr unneeded drama and stuff but in the other way it makes you crazy because you're like cut off from society for a time so it's like this balance that you need to try to maintain which uh, I don't even know you guys I don't even know uh, but we are coming in here on uh, Calais I think that's how you say the name of this town somewhere in France I'm, I'm definite of that I used to watch uh, this one YouTuber by the name of Stockogloss who I oh, loved his videos series back in the day. He doesn't put out that much stuff anymore, if I'm 
uh, it, like last time I checked, he doesn't do much on YouTube anymore. But back when I used to watch him, oh man, he was the best. And he's actually the person that got me into Euro Truck. And I used to watch his series, and it was really just, it was very just chill. Just putting him on the background, doing something on my own, and just listening to what he has to say. And uh, again, that's what got me into Euro Truck in the first place. And I think when he would go to, uh, I think it was this town, I think he would pronounce it Calais, and he's from England, so he's like, you know, probably knows this stuff a little bit better than me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I popped a curb. Uh, let's see, we're not taking that one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright. Out of that roundabout, that was, that, that was really bad. I apologize for that. Uh, let's do a quick loop around the city because there are some question marks I see down there that I do want to get. Uh, if they are just recruitment offices, I don't think those are going to be very valuable to us until we buy a truck, which I don't even know if it's going to be valuable to us then because we would have had to buy like two trucks and then have one person uh, being an employee and uh, yeah, I don't know when that's gonna happen either. Like, we currently have twenty-three thousand dollars, or I guess that's pounds. I'm gonna do a U-turn here. Yeah, that's a recruitment agency. So yeah, not too valuable to us at the moment. All right, we're gonna have to do a two-point turn here. All right, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't... Oh, seriously? Oh, I... Ooh, I almost hit that guy. Oh, wow, okay. Go forward. Okay, pop the curb, that's fine. Just don't get stuck back there. Alright, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. My driving today, as I warned you guys, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see. What was I saying before? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Dang it. That's happened to me twice this this uh, episode. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the trucks. Uh, getting, like, employees and stuff. I don't know when we're going to do that because I think uh, the the trucks they have us buy, like, even the cheapest ones are, like, 100,000 pounds. So it might be a while before we get that money. Or I might have to do routes off camera or take out a loan or something. I really don't want to go the loan route just because that can be very, very overbearing in the future. If I can avoid it, that'd be great, but I don't know if we really can. All right, let's see. That's a man dealership, right? Yes. All right, so I think we've discovered all of the question marks in this town. Let's look to make sure. Yes, so now we just got to go make our delivery. And we should be good to go. Uh, let's see. We were we were delivering uh, like sh ventilation shafts, right? Is that what it was? I think it was. All right, but we are here. Uh, we didn't damage anything, surprisingly. So we should get excellent. Yes, there we go. Rotterdam to Calais. It was. 193 miles. We did not level up, but we did get 5,190 pounds for that, so not bad at all. 388 XP. Would have liked to level up, but we unfortunately did not. Uh, we, we did get a long distance delivery bonus, though, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be pretty good with that continue and I think that's where we're going to end today's episode thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you have enjoyed uh, let me know about the whole avoiding people thing that I was talking about earlier uh, also let me know what you guys thought of this episode as far as what I talked about if you have any ideas on how I can change up uh, what I talk about just if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can improve the series or my channel overall I'd love to hear those in the comments below uh, anyways thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you have enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.